what's going on y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for season three, episode three of Justified, my favorite 40 minutes of the week. Let's get to it. So you got yourself a new boyfriend yet? Funny. That's uh, actually why I'm here. I think you should meet. <laughs> what? Other business. Would you give my regards to Arlo Kivens? I believe last time I saw him was on this very bridge. Right? Wow. I, you know, I was figuring maybe you need a little help with your uh, weed problem. Ooh. Although, just because you're an old man, the only reason you're not getting one of these. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Last time they gives you an order for Black Burn the weed. I heard about it a little, I guess. See, to me, that ain't right. I mean, they just dogs. I know dudes kill people got less than two years for it. Who? What? Who do you know that kill people got less than two years you for Yeah, what? Oh, Jesus! You hold ass. Good. It's actually kind of funny. Because at first, I thought the same thing. I thought, oh, this is a, a ruse. Ruse? Yeah. So many fun. You follow me? So so y you and Boyd and everybody else wants a piece of me, you're just going to have to uh, hold your horses. <laughs> That's right. Until I'm home sweet out of here. Is that all? This here's a 24 I knew that cock I know they wouldn't just let it drop. Hardly ever been used. My fault for entertaining the idea. Oh, this guy. Three bucks? Come on, man. I ain't giving this shit away. He's, uh... He was also in, uh... Did I come in? Okay. We're done. Huh? Fucking smack it. It's my least favorite fucking thing. No. Ugh! Did your mama with that mouth? I sure did. If she was still alive. <laughs> you sorry sack of monkey shit. Jesus, that's strong. At least he was able to get away. It's his fault. I got caught. I don't want to hear it. You say anything to the cops? Anything at all? No, I didn't see him say nothing. I ask you? I'm truly really sorry, Mr. Fogel. Oh, you know what? Don't be. I mean, it's my fault, really. Work with addicts, shit is bound to fall on your head. You win? You get a pill. You lose? Well, I'll put a pill in your casket for you. <laughs> Jesus. One more. Jesus! Huh? What the fuck? Pull it again? Come on, Mr. Fogel. Why, you want to play? Huh? I'm sorry, I heard you say, oh, come on, Mr. Fogel. It sounded like what you wanted is you wanted to have the gun, because you can, you want. No, no, JT? No, second thought, you keep it, JT. Huh? Mm. Cool. What a space. How heartbreaking it already is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boom! That's right, boy! Maybe it's just your lucky day, son. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, i never seen a man shot like that before. Well, I did expect him to die, so I can't Very say it didn't go plan. exactly how those was going to go. But. Never seen it. You know, he bled a whole lot more than I thought he would. That was a lot. Look at them, they're all shot. Yeah, yeah. Folks, fuck, yeah. it was gross. You haven't even told us where the hell John is. Unless I miss something. <laughs> No more smash and grabs, no more bad decisions. And I asked to the whores while my father ran them, and he ran them well. We will not, not just because of Abe's objections, but because these are rock hard times for the working man, and he's just trying to stay level. 
All that we will, and I've already taken steps in that direction. Now, I'd like to discuss today's business. We are going to reclaim something that rightfully belongs to the Crowder family. See, He's business so has fun. been the floor. They get half the pills. We ship the other half to Detroit, where we charge ten times the price. You see, when that is why it's called organized crime. He's been can we get set up? Fantastic and everybody. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Other door, pal. Don't worry about this. This is, uh, none of your concern. Over there. If that's true, I am most certainly paying my employees too much. What you got in the back there? Oh, the back room, uh, I, that's not for customers. Customer Deputy U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens. Afraid without a warrant, this is friendly as I get. Maybe the person I'm actually looking for is you. On shop would be the perfect place to hide the swag in plain sight. I'll tell you, if I ever break bad, I will keep that in mind. See you around, Glenn Fogel. And the pawn shop guy kill him. He's a U.S. Marshal. Yeah, you tried and you failed. Do you think Mr. Pawn Shop Guy is up to the task? No. Exactly. Let Gibbons take care of him for us. What if he gets lucky and pops the Marshal before the Marshal pops him? Then we get lucky. What the fuck? Okay. I love him so much. Listen. That's fucking evil and brilliant. What's his name? I know it's Neil McDonough. I had a visitor while you were gone. What's his name? Think I'll take option C. Now you take that gun off of him. You met my friends? No. You met mine. Ooh, okay. ha, 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 Good ha. times. You should make it out to B O Y D. C R O W D. Boy, the bar owner thought he had it. I, uh, I want to be mad at him. I suspect it'd be difficult to tell without the proper context. Damn it! Didn't change your shirt. Was it because you went in the house looking for this? I thought you wasn't gonna go inside. Sure. Oh, well, don't, well, don't have to go to that, does it? I mean, we're all friends, aren't we? Friends. You strung me up and left me for dead. I thought that was water under the bridge. Now you come here looking to put a bullet in me. Be there shortly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all know. What happened? You get it? Grab some guns and ammo from out front. You didn't buy that, huh? I wouldn't have either. You sound fine. You sound strung out, but you sound fine. Man, I guess I gotta wait for your partner to finish sneaking around back. You tell him to step on every twig and branch he passed. <laughs> All right, you know he's there. There's still two of us. One of you. More like one and a half. Uh, maybe there's another solution to all this. Okay. Yeah. Greater Lexington area of kiss my ass. <laughs> what if I gave up some friends up in Frankfurt? Your friends got names? But I will! Put your guns down, both of you! Oh, oh shit! Down 911! 911. <laughs> That's way funnier than it should have been. Some said you got religion. Others said you gone crazy, betrayed your father, all that. What are you looking for here? here? There ain't nothing more. Boyd, I'm in. Liar. You move, I'll shoot you in the back. How may we help you, Marshall? Ah! Remember that conversation we weren't gonna have? No! Ah! Next one's coming faster. How fast do you think those bullets will be when they're heading back at you? Why? <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. All right, that was episode three of season three of Justify. That was fun as per always. <sighs> Where to begin? I want to start with Neil McDonough introducing himself, so to speak at the end um to Raylan. Don't know if that was the brightest move in the world. Though he does seem to have a laissez faire kind of attitude about these things. Um 
that'd be fair. If you're fucking caught in a trailer, caught, so to speak, in a trailer with Win Duffy, which is a fantastically ridiculous name, um, you got to imagine you're on Raylan's radar already. And maybe he's fucking getting some points in his own head because he's fucking standing up to the sheriff. I mean, the marshal. In front of his subordinate. Um, I don't know, I just felt like a bad idea from a supervillain perspective. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Though him smiling as fucking really takes his picture is hilarious. Um, that was fun. That was a fun episode. I, I kind of feel... This is some meta Grant Morrison shit, but I kind of feel like boy talking to devil was boy talking to us. Like devil was a stand in for us. Like we're not entirely sure what the fuck boy is at this point. Um, he's, we've seen several different incarnations, two distinct ones. One from the pilot, and then um, we'll say... Uh, God one, and then there's Raylan's kind of sort of friend, his fucking brother in arms, and he's kind of been all over the place. But you kind of feel it's the same guy. You know what I mean? You don't feel like anything's out of character, just that he's a guy who can be, be easily all over the fucking place. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And I am willing to follow this Boyd. Um, uh, racist bank robber, I'm not a fan, obviously. Uh, <laughs> uh, Religious uh, nut job, bigger fan. But this boy, I don't say he's found a middle ground, but he's found a some solid footing. We'll say, I'm here for it. I'm here for this version, boy. I forget his name. I forget everybody's name. If you're gonna be on one episode, I, it's not happen. But my man from Deadwood, who was the fucking piece of shit villain of the week this episode. He was awful. And I'm glad he got his comeuppance. I'm sad the other junkie had to die in the process. But he was so awful. He had to go. He had to go. And no, I don't know that. I uh, don't know the brother, uh, Limehouse? Sure. Um, I don't know. I did know him from, um, Forrest Gump. That's him, apparently, but I didn't know him from that. I'm going to look up where I know him from as soon as I'm done with this. So, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm's Tough, episode four of season three of my favorite 40 minutes of the week. Justified. Let's get to it. Get you a coffee or a bourbon or anything. I am particular to the bourbon. I love that shit. We don't get it in Detroit. I don't want anything. It's nothing? Help myself. Devil. Devil. He finds people who are underutilized in their current situation, reports it back to me. And from what I've heard, you have been pushed to a second tier position at an enterprise that's going nowhere fast. Am I right? Yeah, I don't know about that. I only know what I've been told. You and Taking orders from a woman who has raised her hand to you and is protected by a man who is not against taking a poke at you himself. Give me an amen. Give me an amen. Give me a goddamn amen. Amen. You saying you got something better? I guarantee it. There's an opportunity that only happens once. Do you understand? That was fantastic. Things are too much for it to be a viable option. You really think this one's gonna put two and two together? Hey, moron, how much did you hear? About y'all breaking out? Nothing? Did you hear this? <laughs> nice, nice. And, and you all can, can play along and <laughs> what you think? Uh, what's that right there? Jesus. Hey! What the hell did you just do, man? Did you come? What you do? Do it! What the fuck? What you so are you ready to do things my way or would you like option B? I always feel like I just missed an episode. Any trouble? Not a peep. Good job. Sure. Hey, you think I can get a little taste? Jesus! Do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey, hey. What the hell, man? Huh. Whoa, whoa, hey. Easy, easy, easy. Hey, hey, look around. Hey. Take a look around. Take a look around. You need to know that you don't know shit about Noble's Harbor, right? Because I can tell you, we ain't getting anywhere near that place with the whole crew we got going on. That's just coming you and me, Buttercup. You take him to the hotel you wanted him, he's your problem. Can I be honest? 
friends. Ready for this motherfucker to catch a bullet? Security guard? I'm ready. Can I can't say you don't know or can't say you can't say. Bit of both. You gonna ask, do I have it? I was just gonna ask if you knew where she kept it. Couldn't say. Couldn't say you don't know or couldn't say. I believe Old Miss has the best looking girls in any college in the country, even Vanderbilt. Well, you two clearly got a lot to talk about. We're not done with you yet. Well, I'd love to help you, Marshals, but these ribs is done. You want mine since you got nothing to hide? You get hungry, you come on up. I'm gonna hook you up with some bacon. You ain't ever gonna forget. <laughs> the hell did the Marshal Service get posted up here already? <laughs> well, we are not getting up there. Well, that is surely true. <sighs> Where are we going now? To the motel. If I can't get up there, you're gonna find a way to get the goddamn money out. Jesus fucking Christ. I want him to die so bad. I like my mouse. He's awful. I feel it. You fucking put motherfuckers hand and burning whatever the fuck. You're awful, but uh yeah. You call your banker, you tell him to bring that money someplace useful, or I will show you what it means to get spun up. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. It's okay. I'm just gonna do something here. Thing. I'm counting on you, okay? I'm counting on your sterling reputation for customer service, not to mention our family's long and mutually beneficial history. To prevail upon you to honor me. Just wondering if and when we ever gonna actually make a move on something worth moving on. I told you that time is coming. We don't have to put a pen in this for now. I'm sensing a disturbance in the force. What? Hello, Raylan. <laughs> well, maybe he's kicked so many white boys' asses, he just ain't keeping track no more. What do you think? <laughs> hey, boys, would you mind giving me a U.S. Deputy Marshal Redding Gibbons a moment, please? Come on, Joe. <laughs> So easily rileable. A bent screw at Trammell, the kind of guy who can put people together who ain't supposed to be, he might be the same kind of guy who can get them out. Fucking the boy will snitch on a motherfucker. He still thinks it helps him. Are you going out? Get some chicken. Yeah, I want chicken. Daddy, you want some chicken? Dicky, we're getting chicken. Hey, this is your idea. No <laughs> coleslaw! Gonna shed some light on why you've been all jinked up lately? My well, three hundred sixty dollars assets got me all jinked up. It is what it is, devil. You can blame the economy. Blame belongs one place, and you and I both know where. Right to it. All right. <laughs> well, I will grant you that. But devil, just how do you think we're gonna get our hands on those right connections? I got a line on that already. Oh, devil! I'll tell you anything you want to know. But I gotta know you got my back. Start talking, devil. Is there any way you I buy that Johnny would turn Boyd. on Boyd. So I don't think Johnny down. will turn on Boyd. My question. Oh Jesus. Shut up. Call when the money is there. <laughs> Would you please want him down? Yeah. Oh, Dickie. Where you going with that leg? Get it all clear from Lexington and then maybe. You did hear me say when I'm hollering, right? 
I'm ready to get dirty. Who? Who? Are you? Oh, hey, Rachel. Hey, looking too good, is it? Yes, hold on, hold on. Let me just keep. Can I? May I keep looking for one second? What? The gunner? Seconds up, Dickie. What is this? God damn it. Yeah. Daddy, look, look at this. Open it. Gotta be a gun, right? Come out blasting. Hey, look at this in. Hey, Jim. Why don't you go right on there and you open it yourself? Yeah, go on. That's all right. Oh, and then you got a booby trap in there. I'll get my face blown off. I gotta tell you everything. Does he have to tell you everything? Shut up! <laughs> open it. Okay. Be okay. <laughs> This is a teaser bag and you get the money all split up, safe and sound. No, that's it. That's it. That's that's it, me. That's all we got left. That... <laughs> Buying mostly property for that mine deal. Hell no, mama, looking down, she knows that this ain't right. Dickie. We do it. Receive the money and then we are through, isn't that right? That's right, those are the terms. Take it back. Just go on. I do not accept this. No, go ahead. Don't. Give it to him. Who's that? Who's from? Oh, it's Emmett from fucking Al Benji. Thought that nigga was familiar. He just got handles there. Just go on. Just leave me here with all of my nothing. I want you to make that money have babies. All right? I want to see it back where it belongs. I will come for it. You hear me? Oh, Dickie. I hereby surrender, Randy. You, you, you got me. Hell, Teddy. Well, you know, the thing is, I, I really have no choice, Ray, and they forced me into it. Look at this, this motherfucker. I still don't see why I gotta be bound. I'm a wanted fugitive. Where the hell am I gonna go? Well, come on, why don't you loosen these up? I've been here hours like this. I can't feel my feet. <laughs> there we go. Fuck. Get some rats to the crow. You're gonna need it. They wanna know what the fuck's about to do? I guess we'll see, won't we? Well, I guess there's nothing left to do then but to do it. I guess not. Whatever led you and your imagination to believe that you could pull this off? It ain't never gonna happen, Jeff. You should've known that. Devil. Wait! That was episode four of season three of Justified Where to Begin. I love the show. I said that already. I'm saying it again. That's where we're going to begin, though. We'll probably begin that way every time we watch. Um, there's a lot of moving parts on this show. Yeah, I never feel confused or lost. I sometimes a little shaken because... The pace is, is rather quickly for a case of the week type of show. Um, but we have Limehouse and Company. We have um, Boyd. We have Raylan and the Deputies. We have, I don't know his name yet, Neil McDonough and Company. Um, and we have... Uh, Dicky. Took forever, but I got there. Um... And it was all perfectly done this episode. I am strongly wondering what is going on with Noah McDonough and how much he knows about Boyd. Did he really want Devil in his company? That feels like a stretch. I'm not going to say he set him up to die. Um, maybe to feel out Boyd. Maybe to see if he could. I don't know, it just feels like that's not the greatest move in the world. Devil's not exactly the world's smartest motherfucker. 
as he proved this episode. Boy is in contention for World's Smartest Motherfucker because god damn. He gave him a chance. All he wanted was his loyalty. And, not to mention, he gave him an out this time. He was like, you just fucking, we can chalk this up. Let's talk about this. Devil was not with it. Fuck devil. Time to die. Um, Dickie going back to prison? Doesn't feel like the greatest. I mean, I can't think of other. I don't, well, he'd be a fugitive from the law, being chased by marshals, or maybe fucking. Um, what's his face would get him? Um, Boyd. Who knows who else is after him? 46 grand? Well, that's a decent amount of money. It ain't $3 million. Uh, I don't know what this nut job is uh, involved in, who has uh, Dewey, but I'm a little concerned, concerned isn't, concern isn't the right word, I don't really want to watch whatever the fuck's about to happen to him, I'll put it that way, I don't really give a fuck about Dewey, he could die yesterday, I'd be fine, uh, but I'm concerned, that's my episode, I like it. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.